Hi everyone welcome back today I'm going to be doing some of these so I've started and done a couple I'm not sure what you call them I have to think of a name for them so all I'm doing is just putting some strips of things vertically on to some book page and then I went and sewed it and then I found a couple more things so these are the ends from the top of the books you know when you pull the books apart which no doubt you've seen me do and I think I want to add something or one of them on here as well so I'm looking at uh, what I can do I think I'll put this one here They're just temporarily gluing it I will go back and put it through the machine because I quite like that look I think I'll put that one up there and then this one I'm going to look at where I put this one the green in this is going nicely with the green of the tickets that I've used. Put it there, or down here maybe, up here, no not up there, there's too much up there, I think I'll put it here. Okay so I have to go and, and cut, um, sew these, sorry. I thought I had another one of those toppers for the book, oh yes there it is there. Alright so I'll show you how I made them, they're fairly simple to make but I think they're quite effective. So you could cut this down and it could be a belly band or you could stick the whole thing in and it could be a pocket. Now obviously I'm going to have to cut it down from being so tall. So this one is too tall at the moment but if I cut that down to like an 8 inch mark it could be a really good belly band or a pocket. At the moment I'm leaving them this height. I must remember I need to sew both of those so I'll put those ones over there and this is how I made them. So I've got this. Now for the people who are young you probably have no idea what this is. The old people or the people in my age group, we're not old, I must remember that, we're not old. The people in my age group would recognize this and in fact this is this is like super old because it is computer paper. So back in the day, I think this is back from when I was at college which was in the late 80s and back then we used these as a printer so these little things on the side were picked up by the teeth of the printer and these came in huge big packets like they were you know almost endlessly long and they were this big so that's sort of like an A3 size and they were just folded like that you know back and forth back and forth and then there was a perforated piece between each sheet so this just got put into the printer and then sucked up and then it just kept printing and printing and printing and coming out the other side and that's how we used to do things back then when I was learning how to be a computer programmer and this is actually something that and we had a, one of these at home too I must say and this is something that I've printed out for my family tree and as I think I've already told you I've been going through my family tree and I've been looking at all these bits of paper and thinking do I actually need them anymore or have I transferred that over now into my family tree you know online system so I don't need the actual paper copies and I found a whole wad of these in there with um, writing on them and obviously ticks where I'd move things across and I thought what well, I would use them so the printer couldn't do very much it could do stars so I put a heading with stars around it it could do equal sign so again I've got a heading so this is kind of like the program part of it where I programmed all that in but today I'll use some pieces and in the main I'm going to use these side hole pieces after this came out then they did this with um, with actual perforations on the side and so if you had a big program you could print it all out and then you basically would whack it on the side of the table to break this perforation part off so you could take a big wad of it off the time at, at the one time you didn't have to take each one off separately so if you don't know what these, these are then you're probably younger than I am and I will tear this off with the ruler because these are not perforated and the other thing it had on the side this side is it had lines and so it actually printed on the lines but I turned it over obviously when I printed this I didn't want those lines on it so I've torn a piece off there and I might have to get another piece but I think this will be long enough this one 
and then I'm just going to tear it where it naturally wants to tear and I'll do two that's what I did last time one on either side this is a Reader's Digest book you could use any old book paper it wouldn't really matter and then I'm looking for I thought I had some other paper here oh there it is there so I've got this bit of old music paper so this is all about little strips today not big strips just little tiny thin strips like this and I like this one because it's all dyed I've used some ink on it at some point and that's why I like this one and again I'll just chop a little bit off one for each side and then I'll have a look what else I've got so I definitely want to put some more tickets in I especially like the beginning of the ticket rolls so these are the ticket rolls that I've got and I wanted to use these end pieces for myself I, I didn't put these into the Etsy shop I only put the bits you know the beginning of each roll I kept for myself because I thought that it was really nice so that's why it's sitting here I also have some lace now let's start putting some of this down so I think I'm going to start with this one because it's the biggest and just using some Yoohoo stick as a temporary measure and putting that down and I need to get one on the other side I didn't, don't think I have all of that let's see I've got a bit of orange I might put an orange piece down instead of the green this time I don't want it too long though so obviously I might want to cut it down so I don't want this hanging over the edge put this one down now I'm making an effort and I'm using the lines that are on the columns here because I want these straight I don't want them to be you know turned sideways I do want to keep them quite straight so I think this needs to come up here a bit in fact I want to put this one under and then this one over and then this one over maybe I'll move it all up a little that's better I don't want to take it too far down the page otherwise it'll be too long you know I like this one down then when I sewed them I just sewed them again up and down so I've just sewn them you can see let's see if we can get that sewing to work it's again it's quite bright because we've had some rain lately we're getting quite a lot of brightness bouncing into the room and I'll show you when I go and sew these how it turns out that one there and then this piece can actually go on top here put it a little bit higher so it's above the orange so I'll stick this here just a bit higher and maybe overlapping that music paper a tiny little bit like it's the smallest bit overlapped but I think that that quite works and I have some lace so I'll cut this in half just randomly in half and decide which bit I want this on like I could put that on there like that I think that looks good put a little bit of glue on this to hold it in place till I go and sew it so just on the edge of this piece here and that will straighten up once I've sewn it I'll put this one here again and then this piece can go underneath this or it can go on top actually I like that now that's getting better so this this one here this pre-made piece is only going to be showing a tiny little bit you won't see that much of it so these are the Tim Holtz stamps and I've stamp them onto manila card and I've left them in the tub until I'm ready to use them which looks like it's going to be today for some of them I want to cut that to the top but I'm going to leave the bottom so I can tuck it under here okay lift this up a little bit actually and that bit needs a bit more glue by the look of it I can do that okay just until I get to the machine and there's a piece of lace here's the lace too put the lace up here how does that look not too bad maybe around the other way I think 
just getting that onto there okay that's where that will go so let's just pop that onto there so these are a good thing to sit and make if you're somebody who sits in front of the telly and makes things because you don't have a lot of supplies to make them with you've only got those handful of things that you need and then you can just use your glue if you're going to sew them or if you're not sewing them you can use a more permanent glue and just use your glue to put them together and then set them to one side until you sew them so that's what you like to do is craft in front of the telly or whenever you've got a chance like that then this is a good thing to be able to do that's I need to sew that otherwise it will fall off I'm just looking where's that other little piece here this is the piece I was going to use and I'm wondering where I can put this let's see if that will go there no it's looking probably put it on this green one actually I might put it up here under there yep I'll leave it up there I don't like it there can't go there how about if I put it it's sticking out too much how about I put it here on the bottom I think that's a better place to put it it's down here on the bottom I don't want to put it this way because it's breaking the linear I'm going you know in one direction which is long and thin I could put it there that's where I'll put it it's got a little bit of paper left on it I'm not even going to take that off actually pop it down and I'm going to cover that little stamped piece a tiny bit okay let's put that to one side and two seem to work well on these sheets I've got you know a few of these so don't care if I use these two of them in this way I'm not going to use them all anyway because there's heaps and heaps of it left but I really like it because I can line the column up to get my lineal thing working really well and then where's that piece of paper here I'm just grabbing another piece of paper out here this is the one I did before and I'm wondering if I can put one of these down I'll start by ripping this top part up and then one of the pieces that's got the stars on it and also I wanted to get the one that's got the writing on it so this one here it says place spouse and whatever And I want a piece of lace so I've got this lace I might use some of it actually I've got some cream I only want thin lace that's a bit thick 
Oh, I thought that might be all right, but it's way too thick. Might have to go with the white actually. Don't know if I've got any more of that cream lace left. That looks a bit too white, doesn't it, compared to that. It's definitely whiter than that lace. Let's see if I can find any more. I've got this. I could use a piece of this ribbon. It's a little frilly ribbon. Yeah, that's good. I like that. We'll pop that on. And we'll see how they're looking after. I've got a piece of this on both of them. If anybody knows how to keep their glue stick standing up straight, can they please leave me a message? My glue stick always falls over. It doesn't matter if I put it on a flat surface or not. It constantly falls over. And it is a little bit annoying, I've got to tell you. Just a little bit. I don't want too much on this one. I'll just put a tiny piece on. I'm using the bottom of the page for gluing. I'll cut that off because it'll be sticky. Okay, put that bit there. How's that looking? It's looking a bit bare around the bottom here, isn't it? This one's okay. This one I think is a bit bare. I think I need something orange on this side to balance it out. It's a bit too orange that way. I wonder what I've got that I can put on there that's orange. And I'm wondering if I can put a bit of this orange lace down. It's not quite orange, but it's about the closest to orange that I've really got. Just even a tiny little piece, like a tiny little piece down there somewhere. Try that again. Let's see, what about a tiny piece on here? I think that's going to do it, you know. It's not, it's more pink than orange actually. It's like a it's like a peachy colour, isn't it? I think that's balanced it out much better to have that slight peach colour down there. And I'll just grab another piece because I think I want a piece down here as well. Maybe even a smaller piece, not just about an inch or so on this one. Okay. I think that's fine. So I'm going to put this to one side. Now before I do that, so it doesn't stick to anything, I will tear off that piece at the bottom I've been using as my glue spot. So I think this is something that you can just do a lot of. Depends on how you're feeling really. If you feel like doing something that's constantly over and over and over again. I might do some pink this time. Maybe I'll do this brown. I don't know how that brown's going to go. It should look all right. Okay, I'll stick these down. Make sure that's giving me what I want. And then this one. The one down there. It's a bit of a longer piece, so I'll have to be careful about keeping them up where they need to be up there. That's really orange that one. So I've done orange. I'll put this back into the box and to counteract that pink I'm going to put a bit of green on after I put some other layers down. So again I'm going with this which is the stars which I'll put down here just below and I will tear a bit more of this because I do have a stack. I'm just ripping the spine off this book because what I just realized is that this has got gorgeous grunginess. Look at the paper on that. It's just beautiful. I could do with some of that on here. So not the back where all the glue and the cotton, you know, the wax thread that they've sewn it with. But look at that piece. Let's move it over so I can still see my dots. That's beautiful. Okay. Found another bit. I like this a lot. I should go and look at my others and see what I can rip off them, shouldn't I? Let's see how that goes there. Um, 
and I need to get some more lace or something onto this. I'm just working out what I'm going to use. I only want to put things on here that are going to enhance it. I don't want to stick things down for the sake of sticking things down. I might get a bit more of that music paper. I'm sure I had a little bit somewhere. Okay, I've done those. I've got to cut all my threads off. And obviously I have to also cut them down the center. So I'll just do that. Oh, I'm on a bit of thread. I'm wondering why that wouldn't tear, but I've actually got threads in the way now. Just grab that to cut these, particularly at the front where I've gone across the top. I don't want those threads to be on there. Right down here too. Okay, let's try again with the tearing. Okay, so that'll be one. And this one and these two which I've sewn on as well. Got the same problem here, they're cut across the centre. Cut them apart too. There's that one, that one, so I've got one, two, three, four. Now I've got these two, which will be five and six. I think I've made eight altogether, which is pretty good, I think. There's a lot of threads that need to be cut because I always sew and I just keep sewing. I don't stop and fix the needle and start again. I just keep going around and around, up and down in this case. So it's making it a bit hard to cut across. That one's lovely. I love this stuff that I got off the um, spine of the book page. This one's nice too. And then I ended up just quickly sewing these two little bits on as well. The two bits of green. I think that just enhanced it a tiny little bit. So they're both sewing on now too. So you go. That's it for today. I've got eight of these. I don't know what I'm going to call them. But long skinny things. I don't know and they can be pockets as I said or belly bands or just something to enhance something else. I'm sure I'll be using them and you'll get to have another look at them when I use them but for now I hope you're having a great day and it's about to rain so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Until next time this is Deborah. Cheers.